Hello, today we will be studying cylindrical coordinate systems. First, we will study the conversion between cylindrical and spherical, cylindrical and Cartesian coordinate systems. Uh, in Cartesian coordinate system, we have three axes x, y, and z, whereas in, car in cylindrical coordinate system, we have three axes as rho, phi, and z. Rho can be calculated directly from Cartesian coordinates as square root of x square plus y square phi can be calculated as inverse tan of y over x whereas z of cylindrical coordinates is the same as the z of Cartesian coordinate systems whereas we can go back from cylindrical coordinate system to Carti Cartesian coordinate systems by putting x is equal to rho cos phi y is equal to rho sin phi and putting c is equal to c surface areas surface areas in Cartesian coordinate systems <coughs> can be written as if suppose we have two x y and c suppose we have to work with x y and x y plane the area a very small incremental length along y axis and along x axis is are represented as dx and dy so the area any area in xy plane can be calculated by integrating this dx and dy over the ranges of x and y similarly any area in yz plane can be can be calculated as this is the small incremental length along z axis this is long y axis so for all the ranges for y and z this must be integrated dy and dc so any area along along in the x z plane can be calculated by taking a small incremental length along along x axis and along z axis so any area in x z can be calculated as integrating over all the values given along x and z values x and z axis this dx and dc for <coughs> and the volume of a cube in Cartesian coordinate systems can be calculated this is dy this is small incremental length along x-axis this is small incremental length along z-axis so volume can be calculated as x y z by integrating a triple integral uh, along x y and z axis so this calculates the volume of a cube in Cartesian coordinate systems. The same concept can be applied to find surface areas to find surface areas in cylindrical coordinate systems. In cylindrical coordinate system, we have three axes rho, phi, and z. So, <coughs> in the rho phi plane, we can have, we have z is equal to constant here. So, we can have some varying phi, phi 1 and phi 2 and some varying rho. So, this is d rho, this is d phi and to 
converted into the unit of distances this is multiplied with rho rho d phi so the area can be calculated as area in rho phi is equal to is equal to integral over rho and phi rho d rho d phi so this must be integrated over the ranges of rho and phi to calculate any area in rho phi plane the next is phi z plane so rho z plane in rho z plane a small incremental length can be thought of like this we have the small incremental length dz along the axis and the small incremental length along rho d rho so the area a rho z can be calculated for some given values some given ranges of rho and z d rho dz is simple very simple uh, the third area is the third surface area can be along phi and z axis along phi in the phi z plane in the phi z plane so if we have this phi and this this is the outer area this is the area of the phi z plane so this is dc this is d phi and to convert into the sense of unit this is rho d phi rho d phi and dc this is the surface area of the outer of the cylinder a phi c can be written as for all the values of phi and c for all the given values of phi and c this is rho d phi dc so this is how we can calculate the surface area of all the three surfaces in cylindrical coordinate systems finally to find the volume of a cylinder like the volume of a cube we calculated in case of Cartesian coordinate systems uh, we can have a small cube with some d rho dc and rho d phi so the volume is simply calculated as for all the values of rho phi and c this can be written as rho d rho d phi and dc this is how we can calculate the volume of a given piece of a cylinder uh, thank you very much